Okay, topic 15 is on SOHCAHTOA. So we're basically using right triangle trigonometry to solve these problems. So again, if you need to do this problem, you need to print this page. I'm gonna do the top six. You only have to do three on your own, but it just kind of helps out to see where we're working with this. So for this particular problem, what we need to do is identify what sides of the triangle we're given. Remember that if you have a right angle, the side opposite it, this is called the hypotenuse. The side that is goes straight across is the opposite. And adjacent is what forms the angle. This side right here is adjacent. So in this particular example, I've got my angle right here, that's my reference. I'm using this adjacent side and the hypotenuse. So from Sokotoa, I'm going to do cosine, which is adjacent over hypotenuse. So this one would be set up as cosine of 64 is equal to the adjacent side, which is x, over 36. And now I'm going to be solving for this problem. So what we need to do is I'm going to always, whatever the value is right here, I'm going to cross multiply, basically multiply both sides by 36. So I get 36 times the cosine of 64 is going to equal x. So when I calculate that out, I get 15.78. Okay, for this next example, I have the hypotenuse and I have the opposite. So I'm going to use sine. So it's sine of 19 degrees is equal to the opposite, which is 87, over my hypotenuse. Now when I go to solve this, the hypotenuse is the longer side, so my answer needs to be bigger than 87. So even though it looks like a little tiny side, there's a really pretty big number, but I know this side is going to be the longest in the triangle. So if you make a mistake in solving, you should be able to realize it just because of the way the numbers came out. Okay, so I'm going to multiply both sides by whatever's down here. So it's x times the sine of 19 equals 87. If I'm going to solve this, I've got to divide now both sides by sine of 19. This is x times sine of 19 equals 87. I've got to undo multiplication, so I'm going to divide by sine of 19 to solve the equation. So if we do this, you have 87 divided by the sine of 19, and we get x is equal to 267.23. So it is definitely bigger than 87. And that's a pretty small angle, so that actually makes that the smallest side, so it's not unusual to have that big of an answer. Okay, this time we have the opposite. We don't have the hypotenuse, and this side is the adjacent. So I'm going to use tangent. Tangent of 38 is equal to opposite over adjacent. Again, the x is on the bottom. A lot of times people have trouble with this particular part. But if you have x right here, I'm going to multiply by x. Then we'll divide by tangent of 38. So x is going to be 45 divided by the tangent of 38. So calculate that out, we have 45 divided by tangent of 38. And we get 57.6, roughly. So we can see if that answer makes sense. So this, if this angle here is 38 and this is 90, my angle that's down here, if I use the sum of the angles in the triangle, that's going to give me an angle of 52 degrees. So that means this side should be bigger than this side. Well, 57.6 is bigger than 45, so the answer does make sense. Okay, let's look at D. So again, we're going to look at what we have. Opposite, don't have the hypotenuse. This is the adjacent, it forms the angle. 
So again, I'm going to use tangent. So tangent of 17 degrees is my opposite over adjacent. So again, I'm going to multiply whatever is the bottom number right over here. I'm going to multiply by this number there. So it's 12 times tangent of 17 is equal to x. And again, when I go to calculate this out, I get 3.67. Okay, let's look at the next one. This time we're given the hypotenuse and we have the opposite. So again, this is the opposite. This is my hypotenuse. So I'm going to use sine. Sine of 65 is equal to the opposite, which is 18, divided by x. So I have x times the sine of 65 equals 18. When I solve for x, I do 18 divided by sine of 65. 18 divided by sine of 65, we end up with 19.9. Okay, last one. We have adjacent and hypotenuse, so we should be using cosine. Again, adjacent side is 20 over x. Multiply by x. So every time we had x on the bottom, we always had to do the same thing. So we're going to end up ultimately dividing. So this is the one giving people have trouble with, but that's why we're doing a bunch of those. So x ends up equaling 20 divided by the cosine of 48. It should be bigger than 20, my answer. So that's one way I can actually check it because it's a hypotenuse. So if you make a mistake, you should be able to tell just by what your answer comes out to be. So I get x is equal to 29.9. You know, if you did it wrong, your answer would have been 20 times the cosine of 48. You would have gotten like 13.4, and it doesn't make sense for this answer to be 13.4. Or sometimes people just divide it backwards, and you end up getting like a really small decimal. So just the answer should be reasonable, and you just have to kind of think about it. Is your answer reasonable? Okay, all you have to do then is make sure you've got all those other examples copied down and then do A, B, and C right here.